Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to talk about how to use alcohol to clean out earwax. Now, what are you going to need? Well, you're going to need some isopropyl alcohol. You're going to need a medicine dropper, and you might want to have some peroxide or, alternately, some white vinegar. Sometimes earwax collects in the external auditory canal. That's everything from the hole where sound comes into the ear down to the eardrum. It's all part of the external ear. Now, normally the skin here grows outward and it carries earwax with it. So the best thing to do for earwax under normal circumstances is leave it alone. It should grow out on its own. Some people have dry or flaky wax. Some people have sort of sticky wax. Uh, however, occasionally wax will collect to an extent that's annoying. Now the best way to keep that from happening is never to use a Q-tip to clean out your ears. It's when you stick something down here in the canal that wax tends to get impacted. So if you never stick anything in there, you're not likely to have a wax blockage. But if for some reason you find that you do have an annoying amount of wax, you certainly can use a variety of agents to try and loosen it up, soften it, and help it wash itself out. Now, there are some commercial agents that you can buy over the counter for this purpose, but if you have a bottle of alcohol around the house, you can do that as well. Now, one thing I would recommend is perhaps mixing the alcohol with another fluid. You could use white vinegar or you could use... Um, you could use peroxide. Both of these work fine. Another thing you're going to want to do is to warm it up to about body temperature. If you put a cold or a hot liquid down here in the external auditory canal, it actually will send nerve signals that could potentially make you dizzy. It tells the body that you're moving when you're not. You might even get sick to your stomach and throw up. So you want to make sure that whatever fluid you're using, the alcohol in this case, is warmed up to somewhere around body temperature temperature so you don't have that happen. Now you can draw the fluid up with a medicine dropper. Here I happen to have a small syringe and you just want to lie on your side. It may help to pull back on this part of the ear uh, which opens up the ear canal and just dribble in a few drops of fluid. You're not trying to squirt hard. You can really do some serious damage to the eardrum if you do that. Please do not use a water pick or any other device that would move fluid forcefully into the ear. You just try to dribble a little bit out uh, or in. Then go ahead, shake your ear out, try and get that fluid to come out, try and get the wax to come out. And if you need to, you can use a wet washcloth to clean around the outside of the ear. Most importantly, do not use a Q-tip or any other object to try and dig the wax out of here. Wax right here where you can see it that you can get with a washcloth, great. But if it's deep, leave it alone. Now, doctors are able, under guidance, looking to see what we're doing, to pull wax out of the eardrum using an instrument like this curette right here. But this is not something I would do at home. This is one person's job who has an otoscope and knows what they're doing, not the job of the person whose ear this is. So, telling you about how to clean wax out of your ear with alcohol, I am Dr. David Hill.